We welcome you to NBS Television, your political command center. This is the breakfast meeting. My name is Isabella Tugumi. The conversation this morning will be regard, will be in regard, I beg your pardon, to that last particular ad that you saw running on your TV set. Finns Medical University. Have you heard of it? Do you know where it's located? Do you know what services they offer? Honestly, this is my first time hearing it, hearing about it. But I would like for those joining us this morning to help us understand if you are someone that has interests in medical, in the medical field, or you would like to further propel your career from where it is to, you know, a further point in life, then is this the right place to be? Ruhwezi Patrick, the university secretary, and Kempango Joan, the academic registrar from Finns Medical University, will be joining us this morning to have a much broader conversation with this regard. Good morning, madam. Good morning, madam. How, How are you today? I'm fine. How are you? Good morning, sir. Good morning to you. Well, thank you. Uh, first time, first things first. Is it your first time here on NBS TV? Yeah, it is my first time, actually. I'm so happy to NBS for giving us an opportunity to mm. join you for this conversation. All right, thank you so much. And you? And this is my first time. Your here. first time too? Yes. Well, it's really nice to have you. Thank uh, you. First things first, where is Finns Medical uh, University located? I'll start with you, Mr. Ruiz. Oh, thank you very much. Mm. Uh, Finns Medical University is located in the heart of Fort Porto City, mm. Fort Porto Tourism City. Mm. And uh, it is the first of its kind medical university in Africa. It in is, Africa? Yes, it is. Not just Uganda? No. Okay. Um, it is a university which is entirely specializing in health sciences, mm -hmm. education. And um, there are quite a number of universities of science and technology and so many others, yeah. but they also offer other courses outside the, the health sciences. So Finns Medical University is entirely um, going to be providing, mm -hmm. and is already providing, health sciences all from certificate levels to diploma and the bachelor's, master's, and so on and so forth, but within the health sector. That's right. what we're going to be dealing with. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mrs. Kimpang, I really hope I'm pronouncing that right. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's look at the courses being offered at Finns Medical University. Can you enlighten us what courses are there? Yes. And if, of course, if I told you are an art student, are you capable of just, you know, veering off and passing into the system? Okay, Finns Medical University, as you've already heard from uh, Mr. Hueza, mm. is um, a medical university just special, especially for medical courses only. Okay. So the medical courses that we have, we have bachelor's in nursing, uh, that is direct students from senior six, and uh, extension programs, that is students who have done uh, like a diploma and they want to do a degree, mm. or those who have a diploma and they want to do I have a certificate and I want to do a diploma. Mm. So we have a degree in uh, nursing, degree in uh, midwifery, both direct and, ex and extension programs. Mm. We have um, okay, bachelor's uh, in medical education and bachelor's in public health. Mm. So those are the degree programs. And for the diploma programs, we have uh, diploma in nursing, yeah. diploma in midwifery, diploma in... Um, Public health and uh, clinical diploma medicine. in clinical medicine and uh, community health. Oh, okay. Yes. So, uh, if I may, why did you choose to be a specialized university only dealing with uh, only dealing in matters health sciences? Okay. Before I answer that, That's we good. also have certificate programs. Oh, okay. We have certificate in nursing mm -hmm. program, certificate in midwifery. We have a uh, certificate in pharmacy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, why we chose this is um, because we saw most uh, universities deal with uh, arts as as, uh, yeah. as subjects, but we wanted to be unique in a way that we provide medical courses. As uh, most Ugandans, you can see how they they really get sick. Not Uganda alone, but the whole continent, mm -hmm. maybe in Africa, we usually need assistance from medical practitioners. Yes. So we decided to make a unique university specializing in medical courses only mm. so that the whole community, the whole country can be assisted in terms of health services. Away from the courses that you mentioned, are there any other courses that you intend to introduce? Yes, okay. in the future. Yeah. Like next year, mm. we shall introduce bachelors of uh, medicine and surgery we shall have um, bachelors, bachelors of environmental health, bachelor of uh, biomedical engineering, mm. 
and uh, bachelors of lab technology. And, right. and lab pharmacy sciences. as well. And pharmacy yeah. as well. Yes. Labs. yes. Okay. So, uh, but, but if I could maybe add something very small on uh, what Joan is saying, uh, and when you're asking why do we choose to have uh, a medical university, mm. um, apart from contributing to the, the shortage of human resources for health, <coughs> like we all know that the, the whole of the African continent will have a shortage, if not the whole world, mm. of health workers. So we know there's a great need of health workers whom we have to produce. Yes. And also the desire to, um, to make a positive contribution. Uh, we, we are not looking at education just for the sake of it. We're not looking at people coming to get degrees and diplomas and certificates just for the sake. But we're looking at how we can attain an education, how we can provide an education which is going to contribute towards the development of Uganda and the development of the African continent. Mm -hmm. So why we choose to specialize in uh, health sciences is because we want to put all our efforts towards that. Mm -hmm. Because as you are aware, like uh, um, like you are seeing photos how they are running, yeah. uh, health sciences education is quite an expensive venture, yeah. which we have really given time to make sure that uh, when we're having students, we have the best of the best. Yes. Best laboratories, best lecture rooms, best environment for learning, best uh, lecturers and infrastructure, and so on and so forth. Yeah. So it is that desire to make a contribution and the desire to make sure that we don't spread all our effort. We put it into health sciences education so we become known for that mm -hmm. and that's where we put all our energies all our research all our education all our innovation mm -hmm. is going to be in line with that okay yes. so now um who can apply and how do they apply yes we have um Finns medical university is a uh, opening mm -hmm. for so many people who can apply for many of our courses mm -hmm. one we have the direct entrance and this direct entrance those are people who have finished senior four and they are joining university, mm. sorry, they are joining uh, the university for certificate mm. courses. All senior six, they are joining for diploma and bachelor's programs. Yes. We also have people who are already working. Those are, we call, we call them extensors. Mm. They are people who already have uh, certificates, they want to do diplomas. They are those who have diplomas, they want to do bachelor's courses. So all those people are free to apply and our applications are open. We are already receiving them. Mm. And the... Uh, we have applications where people can physically come and apply in Fort Port at our campus, mm. but also we have online applications. Online applications for both people in Uganda and outside of Uganda. It is a very easy process. You just go on our website, mm. www.fmu.ac.ug, and then on the right hand corner, you find um, uh, um, a provision for apply online. Mm. So you click, and it's a very simple process. And then you will be admitted at Finns Medical University. Uh, is, is, is your admission one of those that does not require payment? Yes, it requires some small payment. Mm -hmm. Of course, as you know, um, the application process uh, follows a process of verification of uh, documentation uh, with the um, education institutions as well as the National Council for Education for those who are coming from outside Uganda. Mm -hmm. So we have an application fee of 50,000 shillings, mm -hmm. and we think that's moderate enough. And they also, of course, that is bearing in mind that we are going to, we are offering um, uh, courses at a very moderate um, amount in terms of fees. Tuition, yeah. So if you compare with so many other um, universities which are offering health sciences and uh, uh, medical courses, they are abnormally, abnormally high. Mm. But we want to see how can we provide an education at an affordable fee for the people of Africa because we know the population that we are targeting because mm. we know the incomes of the people that we are dealing with. Yes. How can we attain quality education without paying so much exorbitant fees? Mm -hmm. So the, that's why also our application fees is just a moderate 50,000 shillings. You can actually make the payment online? Because um, if someone is going to apply online, I'm assuming you need the payment at that point in time. At the moment, um, the, the payment, we are, we are banking with the Equity mm -hmm. Bank. That's where our account is. And the bank itself is having an arrangement, in, really? not organized by the university, but you can make payments from wherever you are. Uh, our account number is on our website. Mm. So you pay from wherever you are. Either it is through a money transfer or um, um, electronic transfer mm. of uh, mobile money. People can still make payments to the bank using a bank account. Okay. Yes, it is possible to do that. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, now, oh, yes. Okay. okay. Maybe to add on what Patrick has said, Please. Um, not everybody has to 
maybe to be eligible to, to attend the medical courses. Mm. But you have to pass. You must have passed. Mm. For example, those who are going to do bachelor's degrees must have um, uh, got two principal passes mm. in biology sciences mm. courses. Mm. And uh, for those in a diploma, those who want to do a diploma course, must have got at least one principal pass. Mm. And for the certificate, if you have got passes in all um, the, the science subjects. And for those who are going to do extension programs, they must, for example, if they are nurses, they should be registered with the Uganda Nurses and Midwifery Council, mm. Midwives Council, and then they should have worked at least for two years after finishing maybe their certificate or mm. diploma programs. They must work first for two years, mm. then we can accept them. Ah, okay. Yes. So if, if I may add something very small, Please. Uh, the courses which you had the academic registrar taking us through, mm. um, we are not also, the curriculum which we are developing for our courses, they are unique and they, um, um, specifically made to suit certain interests. For example, we are not just teaching, but we are looking at where is there acute need mm. for human resources for health. If you take an example, uh, um, Sister Joan has talked about uh, a diploma in pharmacy, and uh, which we are already running now, and next year we shall be running bachelors. So, as you know, we have acute shortage of pharmacists. Next year we have to be running a diploma in anesthesia. Mm. We have uh, um, acute shortage of anesthetists. Anesthetists, those are the people who work in, uh, uh, in the theaters. That then, give you an exactly where you, you, you the feelings the feelings yes, are, uh, are somewhat <laughs> neutralized. So we are coming up with those courses as a priority, mm. so that we don't just try. Where we know there is a uh, too much demand, we don't give that a priority. I give you an example: public health. We have had an engagement with the Allied Health Professionals Council, and they have told us the 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 the. the People, many people have done a bachelor's in public health, others have done master's, others have done a, a diploma level, but we are running a bachelor of science in public health. Mm. Not just a bachelor of public health, it is a bachelor of science in public health. Yes. The difference between these, um, a, a, a public health professional is not just a mere person who has got a paper from the university uh, or an arts course, it is a science course which we are running. And our requirements for the Bachelor of Science in Public Health really is um, science subjects which have to be passed. Mm. So whatever we are doing, we have to be in line with can this make a contribution in whatever field where they are working, mm. whether in the hospital environment or outside the hospital environment or in administration, can they make uh, a contribution? We have courses like the medical records, mm. which uh, um, Sister John has just talked about, a diploma in medical records, which we are running at the moment. Mm. Uh, these are very, very key biomedical engineering, which is talking about very, very important that uh, if you take an example now, we have uh, a few hospitals in this country which um, um, are having uh, orthopedics. People have broken bones and so on and so forth. But there are people who make the tools to use, the crutches, the, you know, uh, those medical tools which have to be used to make corrective surgeries and so on and so forth. These are the people who want to train so that they can make those things from here mm -hmm. and we don't have to spend so much to, uh, to send uh, people from Uganda abroad for treatment, even for minor cases. Mm, okay, you do yes. make quite some points. But then there's something else uh, that I want to find out from you. Most universities will go the extra mile and find their students a place to intern mm. or mm. practice some mm. of the things that they're studying. Is this the case at uh, Finns Medical University? Yes. yes. Can you kindly tell us about this, please? Okay. Um, our, our students will have a variety of, of areas to practice from. We have MOUs, Memorandum of Understanding, with the Hinga Regional Hospital. Mm. It's a big hospital. So our students will be practicing from there. Mm. Then we have other uh, health centers like Buku Health Center 4 mm. is another one. We have an, an, an uh, MOU with. Then we have Kvito Health Center 4 also. Our students will be going there. And uh, as Finzi Medical University, we have our own hospital which is under construction right now. Mm. And I think by December it will be, be fully yeah, mm. completed. And uh, still our students will be practicing from there. Okay.
Yes. All right. Thank you both. It was really nice. Have, would you like to supplement? Just, yes, just, just something very small on that. Um, uh, she has told you we have an MO with a, a regional referral hospital, and also we are yes. having we also having a, um, what we call satellite practicum sites. Mm, so um, that is exposing our students to have their training for the Porto Regional Referral Hospitals within the heart of Fort Port. That's mm. a town-based hospital, although it is a referral hospital. Mm. But we also have health center falls, which are at the county levels mm. in different areas. So what uh, Finns Medical University is doing. We have made a partnership with the district, and we are going to make partnership with the districts in the region, yeah. so that we send our students. And the reason is, um, I was to, we want to train a health worker who is not urban-based. Mm. We want to train a, a, um, um, a health worker who, who is all round. Oh, right. He can operate within the urban environment, he can operate within the rural environment. Yeah. What I didn't say at the beginning is the partnerships which we are making. We are making a lot of collaborations with universities in China. Mm. China is having a lot of uh, medical universities. We are making collaborations with universities in the United States of America and some organizations like Project Cure in the US. We already have some partnership with them. We are making collaborations with universities within the African continent. So our aim is we want our students to be exposed to all these. So the collaborations we are making is for uh, joint training. Mm. We can send our students for internship, in those countries, in those universities, they can send theirs here. So if we are learning, for example, we are making a partnership with the government of Cuba, and we have already, uh, we are already in deep discussions with the ambassador of Cuba, mm. and we want to make our students train in Cuba. If Cuba is training the best <laughs> of the world, we want to have them. Mm. We want to have Cuban students to come here, Cuban lecturers to come here, and then Cuban doctors, some of them to work in our teaching hospital. Mm -hmm. and, that, and by doing that, we think our student is going to be trained with a difference, with exposure to technology, with exposure to how well it is done elsewhere, mm. with exposure to the urban environment, with exposure to the rural environment. And that's, that's the difference which we have, and that's the niche which we think we have to galvanize on to ensure that Finns Medical University is the best in providing health sciences education. All right, thank you so much. It was really nice having you both before I let you go. Your future plans with regards to health education and promotion. I'll start with Mrs. Joanne. Mm, our future plans, in fact, we want to see that um, our students get the best mm. eh? so that the whole country can benefit the whole world. So we want to, to make sure that uh, we get the best lecturers mm, who will give enough knowledge to these students, not just academics, but we, it is uh, an overall uh, all around education. Yes. Mm? So we want our students to get the best, we get the best practices, and we have the best services and uh, infrastructure and everything. Uh, maybe, Mr. Patrick, if you can add on yes, anything. Uh, like to yes. Mm. Um, one of the core areas where we want to concentrate mm. is the area of research. I, I give you an example. One of the things we are thinking about very urgently. Today, there are so many Africans who use herbal medicine. And there are so many people who are coming up with herbal research centers, regardless of whether they are medics or non-medics, whether they have been school or not school. And we think as a, a medical university, this is an area for investigation. Can we uplift the herbal medicine to a level so that it can be used in hospitals? If I give you an example, in China, which we are, uh, the whole world is quoting today, 50% of their, of their um, um, health courses are in herbal medicine. You go to the hospital, they prescribe herbal medicine, and you are treated with that. So that's an area which we want to investigate thoroughly. We also want to promote uh, innovation and research amongst Ugandan scientists. This will not only stop at Finns Medical University, but we shall open it for even other universities and other academicians so that our health workers or health professionals can engage in research. We can look for solutions. Mm -hmm. if, we, um, if we are going to have uh, issues, say, for example, the nodding disease, and the whole country, we are, we are stuck, and we don't know what to do. Our health workers, we think, and we want to start a, an award, which is going to be running every year. It's not going to start this year, but it's coming soon, so that health workers can, and health professionals can be facilitated to engage in practical research. But of course, as a Joan has uh, explained, uh, in our future plans, we want to finish medical university to become a one-stop center.
one stop center in the sense that you can come and attain any health science course at Finns Medical University. Mm -hmm. In the long run, that's what we want to achieve. And of course, we want to have um, the best hospital if we can. And we have already moved a um, uh, big step. We are going to have a general hospital and also going to have a specialized wing of that hospital where we think we can uh, conduct a number of uh, operations which are not being done here. Mm -hmm. So, and that's where the collaborations are going to help us. Our preliminary engagements with some uh, universities and hospitals are showing very positive results that the, uh, uh, the, the human resource which we don't have can actually be got here and given the facilities they can conduct uh, some treatment, diagnosis, want to use technology mm -hmm. so that uh, if we cannot make a diagnosis here, at least it can be made elsewhere using technology. Mm -hmm. And those are the areas which we want to venture in. And of course, our applications are our own, and uh, students Actually, are. Actually, that's the next question before I wanted us to yes. we wrap up this conversation. Yes. For those that would like to make contact or establish contact with Finns Medical University, how do they go about it? Except for the online application, is there any other way that they can, you know, have access to this university and apply for some of these courses? Yes. Apart from the online application, which can be done any time, whether uh, day or night, we have a 24-hour team. And the, every student who starts an online application, they get immediate response. Mm -hmm. If they get stuck along the way, we have staff who are already uh, there to help them move uh, with the application. Mm -hmm. But also, applications can be got from uh, our campus in Fort Porto. And like I said, the application fee is uh, 50,000 50, shillings. shillings. And uh, um, we have telephone contacts, which uh, Joanne is going to give us at, uh, 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 at the end of this uh, conversation. Mm -hmm. But you can call us. Many people are calling for inquiries and many people are actually applying. Many people have applied. So we would like to call upon uh, citizens of the world that this is an opportunity which we have. And uh, maybe later on we shall be explaining um, how we want really to make science education, health science education easy. Not be made such a complex area of study that people don't want to attempt it. <laughs> and National Council for Education is moving an extra mile. Mm. They, they are coming up with the bridging courses to see how they are going to, to help people as much as they can to go into, into uh, health training and the physical sciences training. So these are uh, the, how you can be contacted. Joanne is going to give our contact. Yeah, contact. But also we have an email. Mm. We have an active email where you can send us an email at info at fmu.ac.ug info at fmu.ac.ug or visit our website at www.fmu.ac.ug Thank you. Yes, okay. yes thank you so much. Yes. The contacts, uh, most of our contacts are, are running on the on most of the adverts mm. on TVs, on different TVs and of course NBS mm. and um, uh, one of the contacts is 0753 mm. 329-377 and uh, other contacts will be running on on the NB. And for, for those yes, for those who have uh, um, an MTN mm. line, mm. we can also be contacted on 0787 mm. 813 575 five, 0787 mm. 813 575 or at info at FMU at FMU Dot AC dot AC UG. AC dot UG. You can also send us a, a WhatsApp. Mm. You can send us a message on Facebook on uh, um, our 0787 line. Mm. Yeah, it is a social media line where you can get a response anytime you call, anytime you send a message. We have staff who will be communicating back to you. All right. Thank you so much, both. It was mm. really nice having you. Would you like to say yeah, something before we go? Add on something small. Mm. Uh, most of our students get problems sometimes with um, online applications. Yeah. Well, those those ones who can't uh, aff can't afford to to do it online, they can go on our on our website, maybe print it out, fill manually, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then scan it and send it to Finns Medical University mm -hmm. on that website. And um, those who can't manage that still can come directly to Finns University and fill directly. 
from the university. All right. All right. Thank you both. It was really nice having you. Please come again. The conversation this morning was with regards to the Finns Medical University, an institution that has been in existence since 2014. 2010. 2010. Yes. 10. Okay, so for the last nine years, they're offering you out of this world services, especially with regards to health sciences. So if you are an S4 vacationist or an S6 person or someone that would like to move from one point, the point at which you are in your medical, your field of medical practice to a better field or propel further, Finns Medical University is giving you that chance for at 0787-813-575. You can give them that call. They're always online, always on WhatsApp or info at fmu.ac.ug or better yet, apply online as they told you, www.fmu.ac.ug. For 50,000 shillings, you can be involved, you can get the admission into this university mm -hmm. and you will be sure to propel in whatever field of practice that you are looking for, particularly, and I insist, those that want to offer art sciences, look elsewhere. This is strictly for health-related courses. This Absolutely. brings us to the end of the first breakfast meeting here on NBS TV. We do return after the break with yet again another. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.